yeah hi everyone so placement season is going on interviews would be starting from 1st december onwards so the way you are preparing keep on preparing if you need any help from my end so what i have done is that i have made all the placement courses absolutely for free till 30 till 1st december okay till 1st december 11 am till 1st december 11 am till this particular time all the courses will be free okay so analog digital whatever you want to prepare you can prepare so let me go to the website and uh, uh, let me know how you can access it like if you want to purchase any paid courses then you can apply the code joke 20 like if you are someone in first year or uh, uh, who is not preparing for this placement like after seven days only placements would start right interviews would start but if you are someone who is in first year m tech first year or uh, in b tech third year or second year if you want to purchase any paid course then you can apply the code job 20 j o b 20 this code you can apply and you will be able to get 20 percent off okay so for all those guys who are going to give their interview on a uh, 1st December, what they can do? Come to the website prepfusion.in. I hope you know about this website. So you simply go to you simply go to uh, your Chrome browser and then there you type prepfusion. You will get this particular website. Then you need to come to this placement courses. Okay, this particular section is there, which is placement courses. So come to this placement courses and here you will get this free trial. So view content you can click on. So everything is there. Course curriculum notes you can download. From here you can download the notes but downloading the notes will take some time because pdfs are pdfs are larger okay large pdfs are there so it will take some time so you need to have some patience you can download the notes then this is analog digital aptitude so in analog if you see these sections are there like if you are someone in masters or if you are someone who is preparing for placements then why would you see for basics of network ignore this network theorems ignore this transient analysis you can see like if you have studied rcrl so in a quicker manner you can see it Basics of control system, like you would already be knowing body plots and all these kind of things, fold zero. Still, if you want to watch it, you can watch. Miscellaneous concepts, like here some in-depth questions are there. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Diode circuits, why would you study it? Till this point, you are comfortable with the, with diode circuits. In MOSFETs, yeah, there would be some things. like. But if you are someone who is in masters, then you would have already done some courses on analog IC design, right? So I don't think there would be much of problem in MOSFETs, but you can study MOSFETs. Like, which topic I would say that you should study in MOSFETs? Uh, yeah, cache code, like most of the people are not that comfortable with the cache code, current source, cache code amplifier. So these topics you can study. So based on whatever, like whatever the topic you find difficult, you can study those particular topics. Okay. Then uh, coming to OPAMS. Yeah. So basically in masters, what we do, we, we study OPAMS on transistor level, right? Not on block level. But uh, what may happen is that in interviews, they ask OPAM on block level as well. Transistor level is fine, you would have studied, but on block level also it is important. So let's go to OPAM. In OPAM, what you guys can do? Like very basis of OPAM, virtual short comparator, these things you would already be knowing. So in a very quick manner, you can watch this one, right? Then uh, adder, differential, uh, adder, differential amplifier, all these are very basic things, inverting, non-inverting, you can watch these parts in a very quicker manner. Ignore this video, assignment 12 solution, you can ignore it. Log, anti-log, rectifier, this also you can ignore. Assignment 13, ignore. Then study filters, like in like in 10 minutes you would be able to understand because filters are very, very, very straightforward. Omega goes to 0, you put, omega goes to infinity, you put. Then ignore the assignment. Offset in a very quick manner you can study. Okay. And then CMR, slow rate of frequency response. So these also you can study. In offset, like this is not very important, but this is important. CMR, slow rate and frequency response. This is very important. In these offsets, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about... Uh, uh current offset uh, bias current uh, all these things i am talking about okay so this might not be very important but this is important cmrr slow rate and frequency response then integrator very very important amazing problem on integrated circuit this also this is also you need to watch differentiator again very important amazing problem on differentiated differentiated circuit this is also you need to watch okay you can ignore this assignment but uh, this is fusion special fusion special means like here there are quality problems so you can watch this particular assignment as well Rest all the assignments I am asking you to ignore, but uh, this assignment you can watch. Okay. Then clipper, clamper, if you don't have enough time, then you can ignore it. Smith trigger, important. You should watch it. Okay. Assignments you ignore, then you watch multi vibrators. Okay. So, yeah. And oscillator also, again, very important. Now, there is some di this question like amazing question on integrator. So, this is also a good problem. I should say that you should watch it. And amazing way of looking at virtual short. So, virtual short, usually we understand that. Uh, gain will be infinity and uh, in negative feedback our circuit would be stable so v positive should be equal to v negative so this is one way but here i have told another way as well okay through circuit analysis how you can explain virtual short so this is also a very good video 
so i would recommend that you should watch this one as well so if i'm on block level like most of the mtech student they would struggle here if i'm on if i'm on block level because last time when they studied if i'm on block level that was in btech during their gate preparation and in gate preparation i know how you have studied so no need to talk about that particular thing so in gate preparation we study things on very surface level so let's study it in a good manner so if i'm you can study bdc bjts you can ignore Stability analysis only one video is there. Important video it is. You should watch it. Okay, and some uh, interview question or some random concept should be there. So in that manner you can utilize your uh, analog placement course. Okay, along with that there would be signal system as well. Okay, signal system you should also watch. So there is my personal channel Himanshu Agarwal. Just before this video there would be another video where there I have explained uh, how to study signal system, how to study signal system for placements for analog VLSI placements. And from where to study that also I have explained there. Is that clear what I am saying? I guess here also I will add up the video. For signal system here also I will add up some videos. Or you can simply go to my YouTube channel Himanshu Agarwal. There would, there would be some video, latest video only. There I have talked how to study signal system for analog VLSI placements. And from where you would study, how much you would study, everything I have discussed there. So that particular part you can study from there. Okay. Now coming to the digital one. So these are the notes. Then logic gates Boolean algebra, Boolean algebra. I hope you are comfortable with that. Then representation of Boolean expression K-maps number system is not that important, but I hope you are comfortable with these parts. Combination circuit, sequential circuits. In sequential circuit, like most of the people struggle here, FSM and sequence detector, static timing analysis. So these parts you can study. Okay, if you are someone who is struggling, like most of the times, like from here onwards, question will start coming. Sequential circuits. In sequence circuit, let's just flip flop register, sequence generator, then sequence director, FSM, static timing analysis. These are the more important parts. From combination as well, they can ask the questions, but I hope you are already comfortable with that. So you can skip this particular part and you can study these particular parts. Then ADC, DAC, here I have written as well, not much important for the interviews. But in written, written test, you might have seen one or two questions. Not very important for the interviews, but who knows, they may ask something. Like this is not the comprehensive course of ADC and DAC. Okay, it's not that course which you have studied. Uh, in your masters here i will be teaching dual slope adc so i will be simply making the circuitry and on block level how dual slope adc would work that i will tell not on the transistor level okay so on a on block level how these things would work that i have explained here so not the comprehensive course of adc dac but otherwise like data converters would take roughly around 100 hours to complete right at least 100 hours of course course would be there only for data converters so this is only on the block level okay then cmos very important you should study it Completely you should study CMOS. Okay. Completely you should study this particular portion. Hazards and PLDs in a very basic manner I have explained here. You can watch it. If you are someone who is only preparing for digital part, then RC circuits are also very important. Okay. RC circuits are also very important. So don't ignore RC circuit. At least surface level RC circuit you should know. Because whenever you design IC, RC circuit would be coming into action for sure. So pole, zero, simple uh, capacitor charging, these things uh, you should be comfortable with. If you are, if you are sure about uh, digital profile so rc circuits you can study from here very low and coa whatever the part you feel like studying you can study that particular part but if you are someone who is preparing for digital profile then i guess very low you would have already done so from very low coa whatever the part you feel like that that uh, this particular part i'm lagging in you can watch that particular part okay so you can study digital from here in this manner this is aptitude why would you study aptitude now because aptitude is done right so aptitude is just uh, added for no region so only these analog and digital part is there here that signal system part is not uploaded so for that you need to go to my channel watch the latest video and in that particular latest video you would realize what all things in signal system you need to study and uh, it's not that you would follow my content only like there are champion search video shanti pavan search video or there are some videos from it rally as well nagendra sir's video are there so whatever the content that you were previously following keep on following that particular content if you wanted any help from my end so this is the help that i am doing because on LinkedIn, I have been receiving some queries that this thing, that thing. So, seven days are left. Why would you purchase any course? So, in the, these seven days, like this free trial would go on. Today, we are starting. So, it would go on till December 1. So, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah, so nine days are there. So, this free trial would be there for nine days. And I guess that would be enough. I will not be extending it after nine days. Okay, I hope you understand. Giving everything for free, that would not be feasible for me. Right? So I hope you will be understanding that uh, after 1st December, it cannot be extended. So in any way, if you want to utilize it till 1st December, utilize in the best possible manner. Okay. Yeah.
Thank you very much. Happy learning.